Hi guys, Lynette Zhang, Chief Market Analyst here at ITM Trading, a full service physical precious metals brokerage house. So today we're going to talk about whether or not the Fed and Janet Yellen will raise the interest rates. Now they're saying that they can because of course they have hit their target in both employment and inflation. So we're going to take a look at that today. But she also said that they will not be touching the Fed's balance sheet, which you can see is quite elevated. Another story for another day. However, this is the Fed's interest rates that they charge the banks overnight. Okay, And you can see how in every crisis, this first crisis is from the 90s and then the one in 2007. But interest rates are a key tool of central bankers. Because if they want to stimulate the economy and buying and selling, they lower interest rates down. That, that gets people to borrow more and spend more. And then if it's overheated and inflation is rising too quickly, they raise interest rates up, then fewer people borrow and spend. So that's the theory. And we're going to come back to that in a minute. But there were two things they had to meet. The first was employment. Okay, so really the employment numbers are a Goldilocks number because many of the jobs that were lost during the crisis were middle management, upper management, and those jobs simply went away. So people had to do something to make money. So many people have taken a lot less just to get by. So here's more of the truth. Okay, now this top line is wage growth. And you can see it's pretty much flatlined. The bottom one where I have it underlined with real wages, that's what's happened to the wages with inflation. So you can see that the real wages are really well below where they were. Now, <clears throat> this is really okay as long as people have the capacity to take on and service more debt and reduce their savings, which is exactly what you're seeing in these two Federal Reserve graphs. However, I'd like you, let me just have this back for a minute. There is a pattern shift over here where prior to it, after every crisis, it would be flat, savings rate would be flat for a little while and then continue to go down, particularly here into that real estate boom. But now you're seeing that people are really not spending money. They may be putting their food on a credit card or, or essential bills on a credit card, but they are not shopping like it's 1999. And where we really see it, because they're saying the economy is doing really well in this a monetary velocity chart. So you can see that since they started keeping it at the Fed, by a wide margin, it's lower. And we also know that it's lower than it was during the Depression in 33. So they can tell you that everything's rosy, but their own data shows you something different. And so if you have to buy a banana or a loaf of bread, you're going to buy a banana or a loaf of bread. But if that means that you can't afford a new car or a new shirt, guess what goes first, the new car or the new shirt? So that's the truth of what's going on. And here... But they met their mandate. They hit their inflation, their employment target. Now they're going to try to hit their inflation target because there's only one way to fight that deflation, and that's with inflation. So what you're looking at is a year-over-year -year percentage change chart. And bam, they hit their inflation target, which was 2%. Okay, But here's how that impacts you. Okay, as there's the compounding inflation rate and there's your loss of value of the dollar, meaning that everything costs you a whole lot more. So is it really getting better? No. Do they really need to raise interest rates because this economy is overheating? No. But here's the real reason. Okay, it is because number one of their credibility this was a piece that was done by Bill Gates or Bill Gross, okay? And he's definitely an insider. So central bank credibility is being very tested because over all these years, they keep promising a rate increase. 
well, why do they really need the rate increase? I know I showed you this at the beginning. I said we're going to come back to it. Uh, by the way, just before I went out, um, they announced that GDP today is running at 1.3%. Okay, But during the previous crisis, they lowered them 5.5%. Their target over time, long range, is to get it up to 3%. So they also need the interest rates to be up so that they can drop them during the next crisis because these low interest rates has really impacted the global economy and particularly the pension plan crisis, which we're going to be talking about in a webinar pretty quickly here, but the insurance industry, all sorts of levels of insurance, life insurance, health insurance, reinsurance, etc., savers, and bank interest rates. That's forced everybody out on, on the risk spectrum, and we're about to see what that looks like. But that means that those assets that they targeted for reflation, the stocks, the bonds, the real estate, are severely overvalued. And guys, they have nowhere to go but negative. Talk cashless, talk blockchain, that's what's coming. But they are probably going to raise the rates, but it'll be for different reasons than they're giving, in my opinion, and based on what I showed you. So that's it for today. I will see you on Thursday. And make sure that you like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and give us a call, 888-696-4653. Bye-bye.